Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So good day again everyone Today we will be discussing again some examples on how to solve quadratic inequalities Okay, so again our main goal here is to identify what are all the possible solution sets for our inequality Meaning, what is the value of x that will satisfy the equation Okay, so first let's have an example Say we have x squared plus 4x is greater than 0. Okay? So, again, we have to identify first um, ano ba yung gagamitin natin na dot. Okay? So, kapag ka ikaw ay um, greater than or less than, we use the hollow point. Kapag ka ikaw ay may or equal, we use the solid point. Okay? And then, again, kung ikaw ay um, greater than or greater than or equal, you go to the right and kung ikaw ay less than or less than or equal you go to the you go to the left okay so yan lang po yung ating tatandaan when it comes to shading because the solving part is actually quite familiar na para sa inyo okay so let's try to solve this given okay so there are actually two ways of solving this one the first way of solving this one is of course just simply using the zero product um, I think it's still a product property and the next one of way of solving this one is by simply completing the square Okay, it will yield completing the square Okay, so uh, whatever you use your answer will be a thing Okay, so kaya nyo masolve agad, okay? So firstly, yung ginagawa natin dito generally for these two methods is yung factoring Okay, so dapat marunong kayong mag-factor so now let's try to factor the the given. Okay, so we have x squared plus 4x. In the zero product way, I will factor out x. Bakit? Kasi x times x is x squared, and x times 4 is 4x. Okay, so yun yung factored me factored form niya. Okay, so I'll be assuming na alam yun na yan. If you don't, you can go to my channel and learn about how to factor using CMF. Okay, so since you're already in grade 9 na rin naman. Okay, so um, we have this given. In the zero product property, if there is multiplication between two given, okay, and there is a zero on the other side, ang pwede nyong gawin dyan is I can just split them up. Itong x greater than zero at itong x plus 4 is greater than zero. You will notice na kinuha ko yung isang factor. Kinuha ko yung pangalawang factor and I equated it to 0. Okay, so itatambal ko siya dun sa 0. So, uh, in this one, okay, it's already good. Bakit? Kasi your x is already alone. But on this case, it's not yet done. Bakit? Kasi you still have a number beside x. So, I simply have to transfer the 4 on the other side. Then, if nothing else is beside x, then you are already Let me just change yung box sa kabila. Medyo na OC ako. Oops. It's not automatic. May shaping up. There you go. So this is good already and this one is already good. Oops. Sorry. Hmm. It's not turning into a box. So, yun po. So, yun yung means ng pag-solve ng um, zero product. I'm just going to put it here a little bit. Okay. Now, let's go to the completing the square. The completing the square will yield the same answer. Okay. So, completing the square states that I have to get. Okay. I have to get the B divided by 2 and get the square. So that would just simply be plus 4 because 4 divided by 2 is 4 um 2 and squared is 4. So plus 4 then and plus 4 din dito that's the root. So whatever you do on the right side you do on the left side. Okay? And then I factor this out using the PST. This would become x plus 2 squared and this one is greater than 4. Okay? Next one I solve for x. Get the square root and then get the square root x plus 2 is greater than 2 and then again I just simply have to 
solve for x 2 minus 2 and x is greater than 0 so you will notice na meron siyang similarity on this one okay this one is um zero um greater than zero and this one is greater than zero so ito lang pinagkaiba nila okay but this one will be still correct so let's try to plot using the number line our answer for the solution okay? so say we have this number line again okay so i'm gonna label this at zero one two three four negative four one two three four and so on positive four okay so sabi dito let's use blue for this one okay and for this one let's use the green okay for the next one, ito, gawin natin siyang violet. Okay? So, ang sabi ko nga dito before is when you're trying to find for the solutions, you have to graph the line first. Okay? So, let's use the blue one. Sabi daw dyan, 0. Okay? X is greater than 0. So, meaning, you have to plot 0 and you have to shade papunta sa right. Sabi daw dyan, greater than. So, we use a hollow point. And then, ang sabi daw dyan next is it's greater than therefore you are going to the right okay going to the right ibig sabihin hanggang hanggang walang hanggan yan dito okay let me just extend this para hindi binabigto so it goes indefinitely okay next one dun sa negative 4 sabi daw dyan sa negative 4 it's greater than negative 4 and but then again that is greater than so we use the hollow point greater than so it goes here. Yeah. Okay. So ibig sabihin diyan, again, if you have two shadings or if you have two lines po on a given single problem, ang gagawin niyo lang, you will take the intersection. So you ask yourself, eto bang line na to? Okay? This answer itong negative 1. Eto ba ito mama dun sa dalawang line? Hindi, di ba? So therefore, it's not a solution. How about this one? This one is positive 1. So, is positive 1 a solution? Yes. Bakit? Kasi tumama siya dun sa dalawa. Okay? And then, on this one, isa lang yung tinamaan niya. Therefore, hindi. Okay? Then, you ask 4. Is 4 a solution? Yes. Bakit? Kasi tumama siya dun sa dalawang line. Okay? Next. So, next one, ito naman. Plot naman natin. Kulay green. I will plot this sa may bandang baba. So let me just erase. Oh, sorry. Just erase this one lightly. Okay. Okay. Next one. So let's plot the green one. Sabi daw dyan is greater than 0. Okay. So simula dito. Papuntang dito. Sa right. And gamit natin is of course a hollow point as well. Okay. Since ito ay isa lang. Therefore, wala ka nang kailangang problemahing intersection. Okay. Ang kailangan mo lang gawin is you have to take all the numbers greater than 0 but not 0 kasi hollow point yung ginamit natin. Okay? Therefore, this one, still a solution, yes. Still a solution, yes. Bakit tumama siya sa green? Pero is this one a solution? No, kasi wala siya sa green. Ayun yung green ang layo. Okay? And that is one way, uh, and that is a way of solving for your um quadratic inequalities. Okay? Usually, pag quadratic, nagiging sagot dalawa. What do you mean by dalawa? Dalawa yung shading na gagawin mo. It just so happens na, dapat marunong kang mag-identify kung saan sila nag-intersect. And in this case, dito sila nag-intersect sa mga yan. Okay? So, kung saan sila nagtama. Okay? I, hope, I do hope you got that. I explained it as simple as I can. Let's have uh, another example have something a little bit difficult. So we have x squared plus 7x plus 12 is greater than 0. Okay, so we're using the majority of the time. Uh, most of the time, 0. Okay, so let's try to factor this one out. Okay, yun yung first means of gagawin nyo para ikaw man ay completing the square or ikaw man ay under ng zero product property, you always factor out. Okay, so the factored form of x squared plus 7x plus 12 is just simply um, 4 times 3 which is x plus 4 and x plus 3 
At ang sabi ko sa inyo, once na nakita, nakakita na kayo ng dalawang multiplication, ay ng isang multiplication na may dalawang factor, apply nyo na yung zero product property. Wherein what would happen here would be, I will split them apart and I will equate them to zero. Pero not necessarily equate kasi hindi naman siya equals. Okay? And then you solve for x. So transpose, this becomes negative 4. This becomes negative 3. Okay? Easy enough? Yes. And then the next thing that you have to do is you just simply have to plot it in the number line. Para ma-identify nyo what are the solution set for our given quadratic inequality. Okay? So let's, since yan ay greater than, um, maybe let's change it to less than. Wala namang, uh, wala namang issue about less than. Hindi iba lang yung sagot natin. Okay? So, this is less than, less than, less than. Okay. So, we plot first yung negative 4 and negative 3. Bakit? Kasi dalawa yung sagot natin. We have two answers, so we plot them. Okay? So, let's look at first yung gitna, which is of course yung um, 0. So, nilagay ko siya dyan, in a, in a sense, kasi ano, yung ating graph will be majorly or will be mostly on our um, on our left side kasi less than siya and negative so ito yung negative 3 so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and we have negative 4 okay so what we will do here is we will just simply plot negative 3 and negative 4 let's use blue pen for this one and green for this one okay so let's plot the green negative 4 since yan ay less than walang or equal hollow point Next one, for the 3, less than, malang or equal, so hollow point. Therefore, negative 4 and negative 3 is not included in the solution. Take note, not included. So, what would happen here next is we just simply have to shade. Let's start with blue. So, sa blue, you have to go to the left kasi yan ay less than. So, ito yan. And next, sabi sa green, you have to go to the left as well. So, dito yan. Hanggang dito lang. Okay? So, next one, you have to check saan sila nag-intersect. So, on this one, definitely not. Wait lang, let me change the ink. This one, definitely not. Bakit? Kasi, isa lang yung dinaanan niya, si blue. Dito, kahit dyan, hindi yan, not. Kasi, hindi sila sa dumaan dyan. But, yung 4... Not pa rin. Bakit? Kasi 4 is not included kasi hollow point. But this point, this negative 5, it's included. Bakit? Kasi dinaanan niya yung green sa blue and at the same time, wala siyang hollow point. So next one, ito. Negative 6, yes, it's included. Okay? And even numbers in between negative 6 and negative 5, say negative 5.5, kasama yan. Kasi dumaan pa rin doon sa dalawang shaded part. Okay. And again, that is how you graph quadratic inequalities. I do hope you got that. And this is again how uh, this this topic again is um trying to find the solutions for the quadratic inequalities. Okay. So I do hope you got that. Thank you everyone for listening. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.